What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java. So, eto na. Nakita nyo na functions. Java functions. So, in this tutorial, pag-usapan natin na yung functions. So, ano nga ba ang functions? So, in case na advanced kayo mag-isip, <laughs> alam nyo ba guys, yung meme na yun. So, um, in case na advanced kayo mag-isip, alam nyo na kung anong functions, may idea na kayo, good for you. So, yun. For the beginners naman, pero kung gusto nyo may gusto pa kayong malaman, um, just in case, you can watch this video and sa mga beginners, let's do this. So, functions. Ano nga ba ang functions? Functions, guys, um, kumbaga, you, functions are something you, eto, for example, etong public static void man, this is already considered as a function. So, yun. Dito nangyayari, um, dito nangyayari ang mga lahat ng mga sinusulat natin code or some algorithm or some sort. So, functions guys, some example. For example, ang functions are useful when kunwari, meron kang algorithm or a formula na super haba, napakahaba, umabot ng 50 lines, ganyan. So, gusto mong sabihin natin in your system, gusto mo siyang ulitin ng ilang beses. Sabihin natin mga limang beses. So, alam ka naman pala, yung napakahabang code na yon is ikakapipaste mo sa kada kung saan mga part ng system mo or ng program mo. So, hahaba yan. So, functions, function is a great way, a great way, yeah. Uh, kumbaga, nice technique para at least, kumbaga, mag, maging efficient at i-exe yung code mo. So, ang, ang point doon is, i-call mo na lang siya whenever you need yung mangyari yung formula nyo. So, ano magang pinagsasabit nyo. Pero magigits nyo yan once you gets na kung ano ba ang function. So, una natin pag-usaman is kung ano ba ang functions, then yung katawag na return types, then parameters in Java, maybe, depende, sa next tutorial ko na lang to depende sa ano, pero don't worry. So, and the uh, local and global scope. So, ano ba yan? So, don't worry, wag nyo muna pansinin yan. So, let's make a simple uh, function. Kumbaga. So, as I've said, functions, so, kung may alam na kayo in other programming languages, again, so, yun, may advantage na kayo. Advanced na kayo mag <laughs> So, in a function, guys, we make functions, ang the syntax for making a function in Java is, ganito na siya. So, ang una natin nilalagay is, eto the public, the public. So, there is what we call the, again, meron siyang tetaw na private, pero, I'll explain yan later, and in most cases sa uh, ganitong tutorial, hindi, hindi tayo gagamit masyala ng private sa mga next tutorials na yan. So, I'll explain later. So, public, static, so static basically means na, as I said, inulit ko na ito ng mga past tutorials, the word static means, kumaga, kumaga guys, we, we don't need na to make an instance of an object para lang magamit natin ang function na to. Kumbaga, at least para maging, kumbaga, ka, kumbaga parang, yun na nga, hindi mo kailangan gumawa ng object para magamit or ma, magawa natin yung function na to. Static, kumbaga parang, parang, yun na, it doesn't rely to um, making an object. So, mag-guess na yan once na dumating ulit tayo sa ano, pero, yun na yung tandaan nyo doon, yung hindi na kailangan gumawa ng instance para, magawa ng object na to, or ma-access yung object, or I mean, ma-access yung function, or magamit yung function. So, public static, then, the return type, pangatlo, ito yung, I'm discussing right now, the syntax, yung pangatlo, is the return type. So, meron tayong, um, the return types lang naman are, the data types, guys, yung string, boolean, double flow, integer, then character, ganoon. So, this one, thing we call itong void. So, again, sinabi ko na yan, void basically means wala. Walang return type. Kung mag-void, wala. Nothing. So, wala. So, then, the name of your function. Again, um, anything, kahit anong in-name mo sa function mo. Kahit anong gusto mong pangalan. Just like a simple variable. So, in, in our case, let's name it. Say hello, then open and closing parenthesis. So, then, Open and closing curly braces. So, curly braces ala tawag dyan. So, ito na yung function mo. So, ito na yung function mo. 
So, ayan na. So, ganito guys, this is the syntax or making a basic Java function. So, anything that is inside the curly braces, yun na, parang ganito lang dito. Anything na gusto mong mangyari, na uh, mangyari, for example, mag-print ka ng ganyan. For example, let's print um, hello. Hello world, ganyan. Simple, hello world. So, again, ganyan. So, pag rinan natin to, kung magkikita nyo, walang nangyari. Bakit ganun? Kasi, in functions guys, kailangan pa natin tong i-call once, once na once na uh, we make a function like this. Kailangan natin i-call. So, how do you call a function? So, since ito yung ginawa natin na function, i-call muna natin para mangyari or ma-execute yung code na ginawa ginawa natin or ginawa nyo kung ano mong gusto nyo yung code depende sa purpose nyo the code that you've written inside the open and closing curly braces so how do you call um, a function or function so you just type the what do you call this yung function name mo so our function name is say hello open and closing parenthesis then semicolon I, again you you um kung gusto nyo depende so you um we ang tawag dyan so kinakol natin siya sa ating main function so magtataka kayo bakit hindi natin kinakol yung main function natin cause guys it's um from the word itself it's the main function so it's, it's already something in java na um, kaya nga main function so it's the main function katulad din yan sa C so pero um, just a uh, kumbaga trivia lang sa inyo we, we can actually call this um, function to another function kumbaga kung na-call natin to dito sa part niya so pwede yan pwede yan you can try it if you want so yun yun na yan function you, you call this the function call so we're calling tinatawag kumbaga tinatawag natin so in this part tinatawag natin yung function na say hello so parang ganito yan hey say hello so Pinatawag natin si say hello na gawin mo na kung anong dapat mong gawin which is kung ano man yung code nandito sa open and closing curly braces. So, pag rinan natin, yes, hello world. So, ganun lang naman guys kasimple. So, for example, um, kung tataka kayo, pwede ba ditong gumawa ng simple mathematics? Yes, for example, integer, pwede ka ba, pwede ka ba mag-declare dyan? Integer A is equal to b but b2 <laughs> integer b is equal to 1 integer um, integer c is equal to a plus b ganyan so print natin si standard out that print lean c ganyan so yes ganun it's 3 so anything na ilagay nyo dyan na kahit anong code so once na na-call sya eto kinol yun. Um, any, once na na-call yung function na ginawa mo, anything na dinagay mo sa open and closing curly braces is gagawin niya. So, yan. Ginawa niya. So, ganun na naman guys kasimple. So, in the next tutorial, um, I'll talk about um, parameters and itong lo local and go global scope. So, I've decided to cut it muna because I, so I have something to do para at least madali lang. So, tapusin ko lang yun. So, wala na. Finish na. <laughs> wala na. Finish na. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks.